Hey guys, this is your host, the one, the only Thrifty Gamer 83 here. How do you review GoldenEye 007 for the Nintendo 64? Honestly, how do you review it? How do you even just say the greatest first person shooter game of all time? How do you concretely review it? It's not just the greatest first person shooter of all time, it's also the greatest multiplayer deathmatch game of all time. I can remember staying up with my older brother and his friends on a weekend, slamming down Pepsi in the Mountain Dew Code Red. Bear in mind, I was in high school at the time. So, yes, GoldenEye 007. Wow, that takes me back. Just, wow, man. It was one of the greatest games I've ever played. It was a game that had just so many deep unlockables. And you know what? It proved that movie licenses don't suck. And it introduced a new generation of fans to 007. Bond. James Bond. And it just brought that intensity back. As well as the sense of humor. In the remake, it would not have the sense of humor. It would be just... A generic shooter with Daniel Craig providing Bond, as well as Dame Judi Dench providing M. But it was a massive drop-off, but I'm not here to talk about that. I've already reviewed it as too serious as the Wii remake, and just playing it on the Nintendo 64. Just, just having it on the Nintendo 64. That was lights out amazing. That was rare in Nintendo at the top of their game. And later on, it would be that Nintendo would be caught looking, and Microsoft would come in and take Rare all away, which means we don't get it in a digital distribution. It either has to be on an emulator, or I'm someone who dislikes emulators strongly. You have to have it on the physical, physical, physical cartridge medium in that. That I really enjoy having. GoldenEye 007 for the 64. I really enjoy having it. I really enjoy playing it. I really can't say enough about the game. It was one of the greatest games that ever, ever, ever came out. When I was in high school, it's all I ever wanted to play. And as a matter of fact, I had grown up first and second grade actually reading the original 007. Ian Fleming as well as watching the original Bond films. So, I really had a taste for the Bond character, and I like that Pierce Bronson captured the sense of humor and the style of the old Bond in GoldenEye. Not so much in the later movies, but GoldenEye 007. Wow, just wow, that was, that was awesome. And as well, like I said before, having the game, which I'm currently trying to review, I say try. Because, let's be honest, any of the greatest games of all time, like Final Fantasy VII, you try to review. So, trying to review GoldenEye 007, as I said before, this takes me all the way back to high school. And I just love this game. I really couldn't get enough of it. I I was in awe of playing it. It was stealth, and it was stylish, and it was awesome, and it was all the things that I'd ever read in a Bond novel or had ever seen in the old classic movies. It was just that good. It's one of those games that you have to play. It's one of those games you have to play absolutely before you die. It's amazing. It's great. And I actually bought GoldenEye 007 on a whim at a local Goodwill thinking, you know what? I'm going to find a Nintendo 64 and I'm going to play 007 GoldenEye on it. And I'm going to enjoy it. And you know what? You know what else I'm also going to enjoy? My son PJ William to it. Alright folks, rant, rave, love, hate, click that subscribe button, you're keeping my show on the air.